Hey guys, welcome back to this week's episode of Let's Talk Story. Let's we're talk. smiling, I'm smiling yes. because we're in a little temporary studio yep. in my mom's house. We got a cute little setup with the decor. We've got mics, which I know Pono is very happy about. Yeah, because we're, we're not only going to use it for podcasting, I can use it he for... He can use it for anything. For my music stuff, so... He's very happy. He's a happy guy. Um, but thank you for setting all this up. It looks great. And we are, yeah, like I said, we're in my mom's house. And this is our first episode that we're kind of recording in real time because the and other one. Our first ones, episode in Alabama. Alabama. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our first episode in Alabama. Um, the other episodes, if you guys didn't know, were filmed actually like November, December um for the most part so they are a little bit older and not in real time this is in real time so we're going to give a life update yes yeah there's there's a handful of things to update yes. the people on huh well first off we've been here for what like a month a little bit over a month i would say yeah a month in alabama and a month and a week we've been here yeah yeah okay what's your life update what do you want to share life update oh man handful of things well first of all we bought a car true um uh yeah we bought a car <laughs> 2022 rav4 toyota all the way baby yeah um <laughs> speaking of toyota got a new job uh recently just started working at a brand new automotive plant so that that's it it's just i just finished my first week of work mm -hmm. and i'm super excited for uh I don't know, this new career. It's a yeah. great opportunity. It's a great company. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm excited for you. It seems like it's going to be super awesome. Um, for me and my life update, well, for those people who are viewing on YouTube, I have my hair in a slick back bun. <laughs> That's her life update. <laughs> That's why. The reason why I say that is because, like, I never really change up my hair. Occasionally I'll do a bun, but, like, I did a middle part, which I normally side part it. It's kind of a big deal. <laughs> uh, but I really like it anyways the reason why I don't do it is because I feel like and I've told you this before I have like a pea head like you know the little vegetable pea p-e-a like I have a tiny head so anyways if I look a little weird that's why but you know we're gonna go with it I'm also well, wearing my fuzzy I'm slippers digging I'm digging it thank your, you your middle split it. my middle split <laughs> what <laughs> um and then uh yeah i've just been working from home i've been doing a lot of this stuff for the podcast and my youtube but also extra side jobs on the side for video editing so that's been fun staying at home with writer trying to control a crazy two-year-old but he is fun at the same time wouldn't have it any other way and hmm, yeah would you I mean, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> um, yeah, we've just been kind of cruising a little bit up until like this past like mm -hmm. week. Um, and we're hoping to just get the ball rolling on like saving money to buy a house in the future. Mm -hmm. I think that would be fun. Near future. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Apparently the housing. It's exciting and nerve wracking and yeah, no, scary yeah. all at the same time. It is. It's like I want to have a house and I want to like do a fixer upper and all that stuff and blah, 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 blah. But anyways, that's a little life update on us and what we've been going on. Um, we just want to say thank you to everybody who's listened so far. Um, it's been fun to see people's little comments and reactions and text messages that we've gotten from people. So, yeah, it's been good. Yeah. And um, it's been nice too. even though we're away from home, we still... Um, get to talk to a lot of our family and friends back mm -hmm. at home almost every day thanks to technology yeah and facetime and all that and so yeah we we miss we miss hawaii a lot uh and especially now because it's cold yeah and I always, i've been telling people at work uh every time they ask where i'm from and i tell them from hawaii uh, I always tell them like, oh yeah, you know, our winters are like seventy five degrees, may maybe a, like in the sixties, and we're wearing we're all bundled up and layered over there. But here, like sixty degree weather, we're in. I'm in a t shirt outside washing the car. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Um, and Alabama, like I feel like a lot of people back home think Alabama is like some like redneck like area but it's actually very <laughs> similar like huntsville is very similar to honolulu in a way of like just like the city life and yeah, they're developed here uh, yeah yeah you know they're 
they keep up with the times. Yeah, yeah. It's not the, like the more south you go, then then you know they're still a little bit behind. But there's definitely more like country areas and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah. But anyways, it's been fun. We are liking it so far, and um, we'll keep you guys updated on anything else that's coming up new and all that stuff but my sister um i said it was going to be anonymous but melissa you sent so many silly questions uh i asked on instagram for people to send in questions that they might have for this podcast today and my sister sent so many silly ones um i have to call her out but she said have you seen a tractor on the road <laughs> do you yes eat, do you eat your grits with butter sugar or cheese is it hard to see people since they wear so much camouflage like just silly like dumb southern stereotypes that she's just totally messing around and joking well, is there with more, but, is there more questions that um, she asked there was more but i just don't have it well, on the, the, fir- the first question yes i've seen a tractor driving on the road on zert road really yeah like uh because you know they're, they're still like yeah building stuff so mm-hmm. i think it was, it was on my way home from work and you sent me to the grocery store and the tractor mm-hmm. is just just going I'm taking a ride on my big green tractor <laughs> that was a big green tractor yeah. john deere john deere there we go um okay another question we got and it's perfect timing favorite surfer to watch right now perfect timing because it's surf season it is. It just they and just finished the whole e-leg yes and we've been watching and you can talk about your favorite surfer but i think we know who my favorite surfer to watch is on the men's ct so i'm more i don't know i like watching the men's more if we're talking longboard though which is not happening right now um kelly moniz 100 percent khalees kaleopaa um and but we're talking about the current tour is ct i don't know i'm not gonna act like i know all this stuff but seth moniz is my favorite to watch i pretty much only watch seth heats occasionally well for pipeline i was watching kelly heats and was shocked because i never really watched his heats but i know he's like the goat and now i know why because he's a boss uh just turned 50 years old happy birthday kelly if you're watching <laughs> Dude, if you ever if you ever stumble across <laughs> our podcast or youtube channel we love you kelly you must be really bored <laughs> whoa we're we're entertaining i think um anyways i also like to watch uh, now i lost what i was gonna say <laughs> oh john john of course come on john john you uh, can't just, not love john john yeah i i can't like pinpoint a favorite surfer i just you watch uh, all like you don't care who it is necessarily no like, you i do care all. No, I don't love them all. Oh, Hawaii boys. No, any uh, Hawaii always, boy. Any, any Hawaii boy. Yeah, any Hawaii, Hawaii girl boy. surfer. Like, I'm supporting yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, it's tough when, like, the last couple events, the Hawaii boys have been, like, seated, like, in the same um, Yeah, it's been junk. Heats, and it has been, it's been hard. Like, I think Pipe, Seth, and Zeke were in the same heat. and Seth and Kelly. Well, Seth, he's not Hawaii, well, no, but, but still, Seth he's and, a goat. I'm talking about Hawaii boys. I know. Seth and Zeke were in the same heat this past one. Had Baron and Seth. Mm-hmm. and Shout out to Baron. He just won uh, the Hurley Pro at Sunset. And All of a sudden, this has become a WSL podcast. Hey, whatever. <laughs> it's surf season. Yeah. Um, for the girls, Carissa. Why do you is, look like you're going to cry? Because I'm freaking laughing. That's why. Is it that funny? Yeah. <laughs> no, whatever. <laughs> For the girls, Carissa. Um, I don't really watch. Honestly, like, I don't watch the girls. But Carissa is always so fun to watch. Now, on the girl side, for me, Malia Manuel has probably been my favorite female surfer in the last, like, 10 years. And then, yeah, Carissa, you know she's going to win and do great things. She's going to boss it every single mm-hmm. time but um, the, the the new the rookies on tour this year yeah. are killing it yeah so anyways, anyways that's our little surf talk yeah <laughs> oh so fun um another one we got was this is totally like 180 like not even in the same genre of topics or whatever um what's the worst punishment you received as a child and why <laughs> i got a story okay tell your story uh so when we were younger uh it was me my twin brother and my sister chelsea mm-hmm. and um my brother he well first of all me and my brother like to like get into a lot of mischief mm-hmm. growing up but anyways this one particular moment 
my brother decided to draw on my sister's landline, her phone in her room at the time, with a permanent marker. And um, long story short, my dad finds out that, you know, someone drew on the phone. And he lined all three of us up because we were all denying that we did it. Like, no, I didn't mm-hmm. do it. I didn't do it. And he lines all three of us up. We get lickings, blah, blah, blah. We're crying. Our our butts are sore or whatever. Mm-hmm. As soon as we all get done, or, or, as soon as we're done getting, you know, lickings or spankings or whatever you want to call it, mm-hmm. my brother finally confesses. I'm sorry I did it. I'm like, dude, seriously? Like, <laughs> you made all three of us. He made all of you guys suffer. Suffer for his <laughs> wrongdoing. Um, I think that was the worst punishment yeah. No, actually, I take it back. There's an, that's top two for sure. Uh, there's another one. I was much older. I was like 16. And I was like a rebellious kid. Went out late one night with my cousin. We went to go pick up some other friends. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail. Mm-hmm. Basically, got pulled over by the cops. And my parents had to come pick me and my cousin up at 2 a.m. in the morning. And it was not it was not fun. So mom, dad, if you're watching this. Uh, which uh, mom you probably are gonna watch this and you probably don't want to relive these moments and <laughs> just be thankful that you know we we grew up and we grew past those those uh phases in life and here mm. we are but anyways yeah that was not a fun night for yeah. anyone so yeah i think like both of us kind of grew up with, like we both got spankings lickings whatever you want to call it i i don't remember i don't have a big memory of like this was the worst one the worst punishment i've ever gotten um i mean i feel like i've gotten all the ear like the ear pools this the belt the you know all of that stuff i don't have like one moment that's like super memorable um but yeah definitely got it all my mom is a hispanic um woman so definitely got it all and uh what i just thought of something else what my brother got in trouble one time and my tutu like whacked him with the broomstick and the broomstick broke in half and my brother started laughing oh my gosh that's the worst is when you get like in trouble and you get like a spanking or licking and um you like have no emo like you can't win yeah. like you cry you can't win you have no emotion you can't win you say that didn't hurt you definitely don't win like you no, just, yeah. there's yeah. no winning there's no winning mm-hmm. it's a lose lose situation anyways so. yeah it's this is this is uh what the kids like to call a core memory a core memory a core memory <laughs> i was telling pono about that like about um how that's like a new thing i've been seeing like on the internet like it's not it's, it's like no longer triggering memory. anymore it's a core memory no because core memory can be good triggering is bad oh, core memory can be shit, good or dude, bad i don't know these things yeah it just means it's just like i don't know yeah a core anyways memory. this question brought up a lot of core memories core memories <laughs> yes. yes oh my gosh all right, all right. moving on yeah moving right. on um we also had a topic that somebody brought up we asked about topics too and what we should talk about and one of them was goals and dreams and so let's talk about it let's talk about some goals and dreams not necessarily for us um but just like in general goals and dreams like what what is the importance of it i'm a very goal oriented person i feel like i'm a dreamer but not a dreamer that just always is like head up in the clouds like i also like to make it practical um i like try i definitely have those dreams where i'm like i want to do this this and this and then nothing ever happens um but i don't know what about you yeah so um i'm yeah if we're we're talking goals right so a short-term goal for me would be um buying a house this year Mm -hmm. right uh Another short-term goal would be to um, maybe pay off whatever, you know, debt we, we have, which isn't, you know, I don't think we got any other yeah. than a credit card. But we will once we have a house. Yeah. <laughs> and then paying off our car and, and like, finan- that's financial goals right there. Yeah. Um, another practical goal for me would be to um, kind of move up in the ranks at work. Mm -hmm. Um, which is it seems like it's pretty like tangible and they they basically hand you like the resources you need to elevate yourself in in Mm. the industry so 
yeah, that's some goals that I, that I have. Uh, dreams, like I think one of our you know shared dreams together is is having a I don't know what we would call it. Mm. We we just re we refer to it as like the fantasy our, factory. our version of a fantasy factory and that was like one of our favorite shows yes rob deerdeck oh my gosh yeah, if you guys don't know what we're talking about he's a very about, inspirational guy yeah rob deerdeck he used to be on mtv he's a professional skateboarder now like mega business entrepreneur guy um and he had this building called the fantasy factory which had his corporate offices for all of his like management and all that stuff but also had like the fun side to it with mm. like basketball courts foam pit so Indoor it was like corpo park, yeah. and like fun yeah like and and that's literally the dream because yeah. I love being like having fun. So, yeah. So like it, in our version of the fantasy factory, like I I don't know what you would want. But for me, I'd want like our corporate office, yeah. like the Detweiler Collective space, um, yeah. maybe like a like a small cafe or something, mm-hmm. um, a multi-purpose core basketball, volleyball, whatever mm-hmm. you want. It. All the fun things. All the fun things. Foam yeah. pit, skate park, whatever, you know, a place. Mm-hmm. And ultimately, it's gonna be a place where people of all ages can come, mm-hmm. uh, hang out, and it, it's, it'll be a, a safe place for anyone to come in. Just yeah, hang out. Here's the thing: it's like we can have, of course, we have our own personal dreams and goals for ourselves individually, for our family, um, and for writer and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, too, like I feel like goals and dreams are something that like can be so easily shared with other people uh meaning like we could have this dream to have this big corporate office and make it fun and all that stuff but it's nothing really if we don't share it with others and like build community inside of it and i feel like that is like our goal is almost like a community center Mm -hmm. in a way um where we want people especially young people because i don't know like we just love young people i have worked with young people since like high school um so i just love being around young people maybe it keeps me young maybe that's why i think i'm 16 sometimes but mm, like, you act like you're 16 sometimes <laughs> but like i just feel like it's uh yeah it's all about like investing into people and i think about like the episode that we aired i think it was episode number two with jesse and mel and there was a point where jesse did say like the most meaningful thing that you can do is to bring value to people Mm -hmm. and like that is so good um and that's what my ultimate goal and dream is is to like just bring value to people make people feel at home make people feel like they have a place where um they have a community and so that would be like the ultimate honestly that would be amazing Mm -hmm. and i feel like it's possible if we like work hard to do it and um and buy the property right now (laughs) because and buy the property value is going up Yeah, I think it's definitely doable, but, like, that's one of our um, big dreams. And we've never really Mm -hmm. shared that with anybody, so... No, we haven't. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, with our close friends. Yeah, we've shared it with some close friends, and I think it would be awesome to do that one day. We'll we'll see if it actually happens and stuff, but, um, yeah, that's one of our big dreams and goals. But, I don't know, to me, when I think of, like, goals and dreams... some personal, like, goals and dreams you have? For me? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Well, I think they're very similar. It's, like, I want to be able to buy a house as well mm-hmm. but also like for no, me like personally like just for you for me yeah. um to be able to help support our family too financially which i have it's like weird not having a full-time job right now because mm-hmm. i feel like i've always we both yeah haven't worked a full-time job in like the last month yeah it, it's we've never been it's in weird because we've never been in that situation we've always yeah. worked yeah. um and we've always had like insurance and yeah. all that stuff and it's yeah so my goal one of my personal goals would be to continue it might not be in the full-time capacity Mm -hmm. and i'm doing it right now like i'm still being able to bring in money for our family and support our family Mm -hmm. and help as well um but i think also another like goal for me is to just be the best mom i can be to writer because sometimes i can lose my patience people patience is a big thing that i'm just constantly learning so like one of my goals is to like just continue to work on myself to be the best most patient mom that i can be and have fun along the way which i feel like that's the easy part for me is like having fun and making up silly fun things yeah you're you're like really good at coming up with different activities and sensory things for a writer to do to keep them busy does it keep him busy 
for like all of 2.5 seconds i know his attention span i thought my attention span was bad and yeah. writers well, he's, he's a two-year-old yeah. he's a boy yeah you know he's for sure yeah yeah uh-huh. his attention span um yeah. i don't know another person to go for me is yeah. to get back in shape mm. and i recently me bought too. a set of resistant band workout stuff and i've been doing like 10 15 minutes a night after we put rider down and feels good yeah i i want to do that also because like we're getting older <laughs> we're not getting younger mm-hmm. and it'd be good like i'm not trying to be like super fit like mm-hmm. muscles all this stuff but just a little bit of something every single day like even if it's a 10 minute like move my body workout like that would be good you i think having joints like yeah you know 100 yeah. percent. yes we we got bikes mm-hmm. recently um it's since too we've cool been to here. ride some days it's been too cold but we just got like the toddler attachment the toddler the seat. seat and me and Ryder have been going out and he it's, loves that thing oh my gosh he loves yeah. it he loves it and sometimes he's like go mama go go i'm like i'm mama, going you're moving too slow mama. i'm going but i think when we were riding together no me and you he was saying that because you were like going in front of me mm-hmm. and then when we went out with larissa too larissa was like going First off, she didn't even want to ride the bike. And then as soon as we get on the bike, she's like zipping and going, right? I'm like, um, excuse me, ma'am, you didn't even want to ride. And I'm over here in the back, like, you struggling. know, struggling a little bit. And then Ryder's like, go, mama, go, Lala, Lala. He calls Larissa Lala. I'm like, dude, I'm going. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm out of shape. Um, But yeah, that's a good one, actually. No, I mean, I think we do a pretty good job as far as like eating pretty healthy. We've been getting like better eating healthy. I mean, yeah. we can always eat healthier, yeah. but... I've been changing up my snacks. Yeah, yeah. So snacking for her was a big thing. Oh my gosh! All the snacks that are your, um, watching. Tell them your life changing like revelation or what? whatever discovery you just had. What is that? About oh your- yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I'm a big snacker. All the snackers that are watching, comment down below or something. Tell us Let your us favorite know. snack. Tell us your favorite snack because my we'll favorite snack. We'll tell you snack, if it's good or bad for you. No, <laughs> well, I'm joking. My favorite snacks for like the longest time easily would be like Cheez-Its, specifically the extra toasty. Ever since they came out with that, it's been, uh, it's been so good. And then goldfish, right? Those are like, you know, kids eat those. Two-year-olds, mm-hmm. three-year-olds, four-year-olds. Like those are just like iconic snacks. Right. And my sister sent me a TikTok one day. Of course, TikTok. Yeah, TikTok of a doctor or dentist saying that like goldfish um, are actually like worse than a lot of candies. Like they will cause more cavities than a lot of candies. And I was shocked. You're devastated. Devastated. Your life was altered, shocked. Changed. I, I get forever. this as I have Cheez Its in my hand. <laughs> Like, me and Ryder are eating Cheez-Its. And I'm like, okay, so not only is it bad for me, like, I'm going to get cavities, but now it's for Ryder. And, like, I don't want Ryder to get cavities. Obviously, it's probably going to happen one day, maybe. Um, Hopefully not. Hopefully not. But, you know, (laughs) the chances are pretty high. Um, But I'm like, I don't want him, like, I don't want to contribute to him getting cavities. Right, right. Oh, so I was like shocked and pretty devastated. And so we finished that last box of Cheez-Its. And this is not to say that I'm never, just because of one TikTok video, I'm never going to have Cheez-Its and Goldfish ever again. No, I'm definitely going to eat them again. I probably won't. I I don't eat them anyways. You don't really eat them anyways. You're not a snacker. I'm a snacker. Like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then plenty of snacks in between. Um, Anyways, I'm pretty much a toddler. (laughs) Um, But pretty much yeah like i'm gonna definitely eat them again but i'm not gonna eat them as much like i was buying a box like every time it ran out oh time to get new cheese it's yeah. like constantly buying cheese it's and goldfish no we're gonna take breaks i don't know what the system is right now i haven't bought one since um but the writer's favorite too like he loves them so i don't know he hasn't asked for them he doesn't care but now that we're here we have um trader joe's which Mm. is like i don't know if trader joe's is like considered mega healthy i think it is it's not like whole foods is like the health spot like i feel like that trader joe's has i feel like trader joe's is pretty healthy too yeah options a lot of healthy options and then they got you know your usual stuff yeah but they've got sweet stuff for sure but i've been changing up our snacking to like um instead of like cheese it chips cookies like i went to trader joe's and i got like some peanut butter crackers and i got like these little organic anything this is organic is healthy i'm just kidding 
that's what I feel like. Honestly, I don't know if that's, I don't know what organic really means to be honest, but these little organic cheese bites and, um, more I, fruits, more fruits, mm-hmm. trail mix, which is really good. Like energizing, right? Um, definitely been eating more fruits. So oranges, apples, mm-hmm. anyways, man, I'm just like devastated. I haven't bought in cheeses or goldfish since, but you best believe I'll be on that soon. But, um, yeah, if anybody knew that beforehand, wow you're well, if you didn't know that it. beforehand i feel like sorry that your life yeah, is changing. yeah i hope you're not devastated after hearing that because i surely was and if you like cheese it's and you know that the extra toasty is the best then you're probably especially devastated mm-hmm. anyways that's my shocking discovery about snacks and all that stuff but how did we get here <laughs> um eating healthy exercising goals goals goals. and all that stuff but yeah i mean i don't know i feel like we should actually probably sit down and like write down like short-term goals long time long-term goals and like even steps like if we really wanted the fantasy factory to work like write down goals to get there you know like i feel like i don't do that enough I don't, like, write down... Didn't I just tell you the other night, like, hey, we should, um, r- like, sit down and write write out what we want in our house? What do you mean? Like, the, oh, the, like the, the must-haves. Like? Yeah. Yeah. No, like, the must-haves that we need in a house. And- yeah. Yeah. I think that we should do that, too. Let's just sit down and write down a whole bunch of things. <laughs> because I feel like that actually um, helps. Let's actually do it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do we, it, We too. always talk about it. Yeah. Let's actually do it. I I personally like writing to-do lists, whether it's on my phone. When when I see you writing to-do lists, I'm like, oh, no, here's more things I got to do, too. (laughs) It's so fun, though, because then you get to check them off. When you, and you feel like more accomplished like that's how i feel i write them down on my phone like groceries especially like i'll make a checklist check them off as i'm putting them in the cart but then you're very type a i know i'm i'm z <laughs> <laughs> if there is such a thing um but yeah and then to-do list i like to do but i like where we're at now because mm-hmm. it's like it's giving us almost a clean slate of like starting fresh starting over and and like restructuring or reorganizing our thoughts, our our life, and all that. Because uh, in Hawaii, we are so comfortable with the way we're living, and and what um, maybe not, maybe so. We we're just comfortable in, in that season because we knew people, we knew our way around town. You know, I'm born and raised there, and it's just very familiar mm-hmm. for us. Mm-hmm. But we were so limited to what we could do because of the cost of living and you know you know income versus outcome and all that Mm -hmm. so but now that we're here it's like man we can actually attain or you know hopefully yeah you know accomplish a lot of these goals that we have for ourselves yeah for sure so i think so i think we can do it yeah I i don't think i know oh he knows I know. well if you guys are watching this listening to this like and if you have any questions or anything you would like us to talk about please let us know um in the comment section on youtube or maybe on the deadwiler collective uh, instagram just you know dm us shoot us some questions or things topics yeah topics for sure because i feel like if we're given a topic then that way we can prepare on what we want to talk about like i don't know even like hot topics do I want it? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, hot topics. I, I like talking about hot topics. Hot topics, controversial topics. Oh, that was another uh, question. Not controversial. It wasn't a controversial question, but favorite idiosyncrasy of each other. I don't even know what that word means. Idiot- like, Am I like even saying what, it right? What mannerisms? That. That. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um idiosyncrasies is that how you say it yeah so like mannerisms behaviors are you sure yeah you want me to google it again yeah so idio idiosyncrasy favorite idiotic idiotic. no not idiotic (laughs) anyways i don't know what that word is i've heard it but i don't know what it means relating to okay what is unusual behavior mannerisms or reaction of a person or a group of people 
An example is someone being allergic to air. That's a very weird example. I am confused by this, so can we switch? The definition of idio idiosyncrasy is an unusual behavior, basically,、uh, or mannerism. Unusual behavior or mannerism. So, what's the question? What's your favorite? Favorite of each other. What's, what's your favorite unusual behavior of mine? Yeah, so that's the question. Oh, I don't know. I need time to think about this. I'm horrible at thinking of this stuff. At this I don't、point. have a favorite one, to be honest with you. Like,、mm -hmm. it, your unusual behavior annoys me. Yeah. <laughs>、uh, I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. I'm really、that. trying to think of one.、Mm -hmm. What's unusual behavior? behavior. That you Bro,、do? this is hard because, like, I'm more unusual than you are. Like, I do more, like, crazy, silly things than you. Oh, okay. One for me、uh, would be how you just randomly break out into dance <laughs> and then Ryder tries to I, copy you. Okay, I was going to say the same. About me? <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't break out into dance. No, you don't I break am dance. out. Oh gosh. You, okay, this is your thing. Okay, yes. I love being crazy, especially around Ryder. Um, and now his like personality like、mm -hmm. is coming through, and I feel like <laughs> he's super funny, and he does a lot of the crazy things that I do. Like he'll just like yell crazily and all that stuff, and it's super fun to watch. Um, because I like to have fun with him and chase him and all、mm -hmm. that stuff. For you, unusual behavior is like. I don't think breaking out in dance like is super weird. It's funny to me. Like you'll just do it sometimes, but. <laughs> You always have your tongue a certain way when you、mm -hmm. do it. <laughs> It's so good. Can you give us an example? No. See, it has to be like. You just have to be here. Yeah, you、happens. have to be、yeah. there because. Because I can't do it. Do it yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, sometimes you'll be like this. Like. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I, it has to be in the your moment. Tongue, your tongue just does a weird thing where it just like sits outside of your mouth. And like when you're trying to dance. And like. I think that's like my favorite thing. Yeah, and、ever. I can't do it on the spot. It and it's like the、be. dancing does not make me laugh. Like you、it's、want it to be, it's the tongue. Like you want me to laugh at the dancing, but really I'm laughing at the tongue. <laughs> well, the tongue is the dance. <laughs> the tongue is a star. The tongue Anyways, is a star. Anyways, oh、nice. my gosh. Yeah, that's probably my favorite thing that you do. Well, what are some things that we got coming up for us in the near future? Mm hmm. Well, let me tell you. All right. <laughs> um,. No, we've been working on the Detweiler Collective a lot.、Um, I've been working on the podcast and all that stuff, and that's been really fun. So, more podcast episodes to come for sure. But、um, yeah, I have a spring. I think we're going to do two spring collections. Ooh, she said two.、Um, at different times one in March, hopefully, and one in April.、Um, and then we'll hit summer. But yeah, I think that is like. Something I'm really excited about、um, to create more things. I just think it's so fun. And then when people love it, it's like even more fun.、Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's just that Wilder Collective stuff. But also, I'm hoping we can travel. Oh, that's another goal. I'm hoping we can travel more this year. So we have some plans to hit up the West Coast、um, and hopefully yeah, go back. Yeah, you for、home. sure hitting up yeah, the West Coast. Yeah, me for sure. And then hopefully we can go. Back home in July,、um, in the summertime, sometime. I think that would be probably July. Yeah. And I think that would be super fun、mm -hmm. to go back home. And、um, also some road trips. Like, I don't know why I'm dying to go to Nashville. I think it's just because it's like the closest, like, big city. Yeah. But also, like, I want to go to Nashville and we totally can. It's just we got to make time for it. And then、um, I want to check out. Other places around. I really、mm -hmm. want to go to Disney this year. I really miss well, I Disney. I better work overtime.、Now. And I really want to go to Orlando so, and Kissimmee to see my family. But、um, yeah, we talked about Kelly earlier. And I have to say, I was trying to plan this like super fun surprise birthday getaway for Pono. I was looking up dates, I was looking up flights, I was looking up all this, and I was like, his birthday's on a Saturday this year, and I want to do something special. So I was like, maybe I might have can... to work that Saturday, though. Yeah. So. And so I was like, maybe we can fly out on a Friday, go for the weekend down to surf somewhere in Florida because, you know, we don't have surf here in Alabama, and 
he misses surfing and so i was like we can go surf somewhere in florida and it could be super awesome so i'm googling all these beaches in florida i'm like best beaches to surf at in florida and coco beach pops up and i read that it's the home of kelly slater um which i didn't know and it's like one of the best surf spots in florida and i was like perfect we can go i'll surprise him we'll go to kelly slater's home and surf and do all this fun stuff dude the flights were shockingly expensive and um where would you fly into like orlando you would i would actually no i think it was directly there maybe that's why but then as i was looking and i was like where the heck is coco beach because for some reason i thought it was like northern florida but it's actually like central florida um and it's literally an hour from orlando and that's on the east coast of florida right not the gulf yes the east and i was shocked because i grew up in kissimmee and i don't think i've ever been to coco beach i could be wrong maybe when i was little did you ever go to the beach um i don't even remember honestly but um i have to ask my mom about that but i was shocked to know that it was literally an hour away and i was like next time we're in kissimmee to see my family we need to like at least go a day into coco beach um because that just sounds so fun to go check it out Mm -hmm. and see what it's like and see the surf over there i think that'd be fun so anyways lots of traveling is on the mind right now like i literally wish we didn't have to work but obviously we need the money Mm -hmm. (laughs) to travel but i'm like i just want to travel like i've never been that person that wants to just you know how people are like i just want to travel all the time no like i love like the comfort of being in home Mm -hmm. um and like the comfort of like routine and all that stuff but i really have the travel bug right now and if i could and if i had like a lot of money if i was a millionaire i would pick up and just go like new place every few weeks 100 wow. percent, i would i'm oh my stomach is growling um i would literally pick up and go yeah i would pick up and go home every few weeks too yeah i wish it wasn't like i wish okay this is a thing i wish teleporting teleportation was a thing like i don't know if that will ever happen in our lifetime <laughs> i mean they said we would have flying cars in 2020 but we got covid instead yeah but like i really like wouldn't that be the coolest thing you don't have to worry about like i love traveling to new places but i hate the travel there does that make sense yeah the process the process like getting on a a plane yeah getting like i just wish it was like boom Mm -hmm. like okay i wish i wish he like my heels together you know I wish I wish I was in Hawaii with my friends and family and then boom. (laughs) I just wish it was that easy. Pono is ready for a nap. Like he's lost it. Like we're, I don't even know how many minutes in we are into this podcast. I was about to, like I had just laid down right before we started recording Mm -hmm. because we're waiting for the, the camera battery to charge. Yeah. Um, so I was like, okay, good. I'm going to lay down. As soon as I laid down, she's like, oh, the battery's charged. And yeah. I was like, oh, man, well, my, my battery's not. All right. Well, let's end it with this since okay. your battery's about to die. Go ahead and send us your topics in the comments below or DM us on Instagram um, what you want us to talk about. Hit us with the hot topics, the controversial topics, the fun topics, the silly topics, whatever kind of topics. We'll try our best to talk about them. Um, and yeah, that way we'll be more prepared. Mm -hmm. This time is like, we're just getting back into the groove of podcasting. We're in our new studio. Um, and yeah, we're just living life. We're just talking story. We're just talking story here in Alabama. We're vibing the vibes. Vibing the vibes. Vala owing. Vala owing. All right. Yeah. yeah. So go ahead and hit us with your topics. Mm-hmm. And if you're listening on Spotify, don't forget to rate and review. It really helps us out. And if you're watching on YouTube, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. And we hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Talk Story. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.